Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Did you ever wonder what is the use of the Navamsha chart in deciding marriage? No, not marriage. <laughs> Profession, career, name, fame, power, position, authority. Did you ever think uh, do we or should we only use the Navamsha for our marriage or spiritual life or for our talents uh, or well, maybe we should use it uh, for our career also? Well, absolutely, we not we should we must use the navamsha for our career also not that the only thing you see for your career is navamsha but we should see other divisional charts first is the lagna chart the bhava chart then we see uh, the dashamsha chart but we also see uh, the navamsha okay so these four charts are very 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 important and do not get into a race uh, in trying to uh, find a competition between these four because all these four, the Lagna, the Bhava, the Navamsha, the Dashamsha, all the four have a very strong say in the career, but they have a specific important uh, area in, in, in each of the aspects of career. Okay, so... <clears throat> So don't uh, ask questions like which is more important, you know, the lagna or the dashamsha. You know, so both both are important. All the four are equally important. But of course, at the end, you have to understand the dashas are calculated from the D1 chart. So uh, the D1 chart, which you could say is the lagna and the bhava chart, they they hold uh, more significance in that context that uh, they can actually help you to time things. Okay. But apart from that, uh, the the Navamsha and the Dashamsha are also equally important. Well, now, the question is, why at all is the Navamsha important uh, in general? Because it shows the things that we will carry in this life from our past lifetimes. Okay, so the, people think the Navamsha is showing things from our past lifetimes. Well, it does, but more than that, it shows... Among the past, the things that we did or the things that we had, what are the things we are going to carry for this particular one lifetime that we are uh, in? So that is the most uh, important uh, use of the Navamsha to see what blessings of your past lifetimes will you enjoy now? okay, Or what curses will you... <laughs> Anyways, so what is the Navamsha? Navamsha is a very important chart because it also tells you what is your basic nature. Okay, so therefore, whenever you are talking of career, see, now uh, we, there could be two uh, ways to approach this, you know. One way is to just uh, say, oh, please forget all this, you know, please tell me what will give me money, you know, I, I just want money and I just want name, fame, power, position, that's it. If that is your only query, now I'm not saying that is a wrong query, but if that is your only query that you just want to make money by hook and crook, uh, then maybe the Navamsa is not very important for you. But on the contrary, if you ask me a question that, sir, I want to make money. I want to become famous. I want to be respected in society. I want to become popular. I want to have power, position, authority. I want to have dominance in society. But at the same time, I want to do it in a way that is harmonious with my own nature. I want to make money, but in a way that I don't feel bad. Bad means not in an immoral or irreligious sense, but I don't feel miserable while doing that. Okay, so then if that is your question, you want to earn money holistically, uh, then the Navamsha is very important. Okay, so therefore, if the person is only uh, asking about external achievements, then maybe in, in short term, the Navamsha does not matter much. But if the person is asking about long term success, because... For long-term success, you need to uh, suggest something to the client in a way that his uh, overall life is balanced. You know, if you suggest something which will uplift a person professionally, but uh, will cause downfall in a person's uh, married life or health, well, that's not the best thing to do, right, for profession. So, therefore, you need to understand that when we are talking of career here, we are not just talking of career it's not just six hours eight hours or ten hours of somebody's life it is it is doing something in those eight to ten hours uh, in a way that you 
feel uh, happy overall. That is very important. Okay. So if that is where your line of thought is, then you are in the right place. So the Navamsha is very important because one of the ways uh, you can use the Navamsha in the career is by seeing uh, what talents do you have. Now, why do I say talents? Because see the talents, uh, when when you, you have the Navamsha trines, right? And you have the trines of your Lagna chart. Now, the trines in your Navam, in your Lagna chart, so the fifth house, ninth house, if you are running Dashas of the planets in the fifth or the ninth or the Lord of the fifth or the ninth, then you need to understand that uh, this is something uh, which will bring out some of my creative talents, okay? But at the same time, uh, what are those creative talents? They will be primarily, they should be primarily seen from the Navamsha. So you may be thinking, oh, what's the use of knowing my talents? You know, how my uh, hobbies and interests, how will it help me in the profession? Well, uh, it, it might because the planets in uh, trines of the Navamsha now, uh, you may be thinking, where, how do I know what talents do I have? You know, so for that, you need to watch the uh, series which Vishti Larson had done in my channel. You can type exotic astrology navamsha you will find vishti larsen series okay so there he lists in detail you know every planet gives a particular uh, uh talent if placed in the trines of the navamsha so once you see that uh, then you will know what kind of planets you have and what kind of talents you uh, might have because of those planets now you need to check your lagna chart come back to the lagna chart and see is there any connection between your 10th house and your trine houses, which are trinal houses, the 5th and the ninth, right? So if you have a connection, so for example, if the 5th Lord is in the 10th or uh, the ninth Lord is in the 10th or the 10th Lord is in the 5th or ninth, or the 5th Lord and the ninth Lord or even one of them is expecting the 10th house or the 10th Lord. If you have connection in this way, or even if they are in Parivartan or, you know, 5th Lord, 10th Lord are conjunct anywhere or ninth Lord, 10th Lord are sitting together somewhere, irrespective of that. If there is a connection by any means, then you know that the Navamsha becomes 10 times more important because now you have the associations of the trines of the Lagna chart and your profession and now it means you have a greater possibility to turn your uh, passion into your profession okay or at least into a side hustle with, with which you can earn money so therefore uh, then the navamsha becomes more important compared to other uh, people if they do not have connections of the fifth or the ninth with the tenth now, you may say, okay, but now, you know, my uh, Lagna chart has no connection of the 5th or the ninth with the 10th house, you know, so do I not use the Navamsha? No, uh, you can still use, still you can see what kind of planets do you have in your Navamsha shrines, you know, so depending on those planets, you can see what do they represent, what kind of skills and talents do they represent that you can try to bring into your profession you know so for example if uh, the, if if you have an avamsha which indicates you are good at uh, consulting or coaching or, or doing all this then maybe uh, if you are into it you can shift to a trainer role you know like uh, training people for different technologies or something like that so that is something you can do but now if you have a trainer uh, a possibility of training and uh, coaching in the Navamsha and your fifth lord is also in the 10th then it will not just be a training in the IT or any other sector you know maybe you you may become an online trainer and that is like your full-fledged work okay you you have no other profession outside of training that is what it can mean that is that is what is the difference <clears throat> of training and coaching being your primary profession or uh, it becoming a, or it just remains as a part of your profession, okay? So, irrespective of that, either your fifth or ninth has connections with the tenth, you can al always use the Navamsha. So, 
once you use the navamsha then you know uh, once you study the navamsha properly you will know what kind of talents do you have and what when are the, the right dashas coming okay so this is the second uh, stage you you see the overall chart then you see the dashas okay which dashas are coming if the dashas are supporting us for going towards our creative work or original talents you know then we have a greater capacity to actually harness them within our profession and why only 10th house if if for somebody uh, the 5th or the ninth of the lagna chart is not connected with the 10th but is connected with the 6th or the uh, the second okay because the second 6th and the 10th these are houses of uh, wealth in the in the horoscope so even if your trines are related to second or sixth even then this can come because then uh, you may not be doing things in such a big scale like the 10th house but it can certainly be like a side hustle okay so for example if your fifth lord is in the sixth or sixth lord is in the fifth or second lord is in the fifth or ninth or fifth lord or ninth lord is in the second then you know that uh, maybe you will have an independent uh, you, you will have a profession outside of your hobbies and all this but suppose adding to that uh, venus is in your fifth house in your navamsha and you have you know the fifth lord in the sixth of your lagna chart then you know maybe you can do some painting or some uh, side hustle uh, you know, online or something like that which will also give you a considerable amount of money okay now, if the 10th house is not linked, then you may not uh, ha have it as a full-time profession, but the 2nd and 6th can definitely give you a part-time job or a side hustle, as I mentioned repeatedly. Okay, so look at your chart and, of course, at the end, you will also have to check the Lagna Lord. The Lagna Lord will tell you. So, uh, if the Lagna Lord is placed... Uh, also in the fifth or ninth then oh boy the navamsha is very important okay and if the navamsha and if uh, sorry the lagna lord is placed directly in the artha houses like second sixth or tenth then the dashamsha is uh, maybe a bit more important than the navamsha okay but again that does not mean that uh, for that person, the D9 is not important. And for the other person, D10 is not important. No, it doesn't mean that. it. They are all important, okay? So, it's like comparing apples to oranges, okay? So, uh, please understand that the D9 is very important. Uh, and it also tells you what kind of help you can get from where, okay? So, sometimes uh, in the profession, you are struggling. Uh, you have no help. You know, everybody is against you sometimes. So, uh, the Navamsha can sometimes indicate, you know, what kind of people can support you, what kind of uh, areas could be supportable, uh, supportive for you. Okay, not magically, but uh, somehow your field of karma involves all these areas. Okay, so that is something you have to analyze from the Navamsha because the Navamsha, the D9, tells you your past karmic uh, sinful balance and your pious balance also. Both, both of them are indicated, okay. <clears throat> so if you have that uh, well then great very good excellent go ahead with it and uh, try to find uh, what what kind of people can actually help me what, what, which organizations can help me you know can government organizations help me can corporates help me can NGOs help me can spiritual communities help me you know what who can help you basically so that also the Navamsha can indicate okay so therefore, look at the Lagna chart, uh, the Rashi chart for the zodiac signs and look at the Bhava chart for the uh, the placements of the houses, okay, which house is a planet that should be seen from the Bhava chart, not from the Lagna chart or the D1 chart as they say, right. And the Vamsha is used for talents for your uh, Papa and Punya, that is what you see and the Shamsha will actually tell you your field of action in the profession, okay. So, Long story short, use the D1, the Bhava chart, the D9 and the D10 for the respective areas. Don't uh, make a competition between these four charts. But at the same time, if you have specifics like I said in your chart, then uh, you might give a bit more weightage to some of these charts. Okay. 
that will be all from my side ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience and if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video hit the thumbs up after watching it till the end which i am very sure you did it already okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him and yes if you want a consultation from me my website is down in the description section thank you very much